so overall the problem says that you are given with a string s1 s2 so on till sn okay and the problem asks us that break the string down into a bunch of valid words so what what do i mean by valid words first of all so they are giving me a dictionary and saying that there are a bunch of words in this dictionary and all these words are considered valid okay w1 w2 these are words and word is basically a collection of characters s1 s2 so on right so overall you need to break this big string into a bunch of words and words are basically s1 to si maybe and then hopefully from si plus 1 to sj and then maybe from sj plus 1 to sm uh, i broke this big string into three words now if s1 to si is belongs to this dictionary si plus 1 to sj belongs to this dictionary and sj plus 1 to sn also belongs to this dictionary then this means that i'm able to break this big string down into three words right that is one way of breaking this given that these words are there in the dictionary okay we understand the problem now let's think how we can actually solve it so i'll think about my string like this i'll start taking some characters from the left going towards the right okay i take s1 i see if s1 is a valid word maybe it is maybe it is not okay let's say it's not okay then i take another character s1 is 2 i see whether it is a valid word or not uh, i'll just check my dictionary whether the dictionary contains this word or not and an efficient data structure for the dictionary could be an unordered set basically a hash set right let's suppose that even this is not a valid word okay then i'll take another character s3 let's say this is a valid word now if i consider this to be one word then initially my problem was is there a way of breaking this big string from s1 till sn into a bunch of words assuming that i take this to be a character uh, a word a valid word then my problem reduces down into a sub problem that says is there a way to break down the string starting from s4 till sn and if you can break this string down into a bunch of words then s1 s2 s3 is already a valid word if you can even break this portion down into a, a bunch of valid words then overall you can break this string s1 till sn into a bunch of valid words because one this is a valid word and this problem you know that you can break this big string into a bunch of valid words good with this much intuition also one more thing it might be possible that if you consider s1 s2 s3 as one word this might not be uh, solvable right you might not be able to break down s4 till sn into one uh, into bunch of valid words so it might not be possible to break this string down and it might still be possible that s1 s2 s3 and s4 is also a valid word and s5 to sn can be broken down into a bunch of valid words so you'll have to try out all the combinations of the first word and then you can recur for the remaining problem or the remaining sub problem so with this much intuition let's define a few terms and then we'll have our solution also guys i highly recommend uh, my dp playlist these things will become much much more clear what is a dp state what is a recurrence and you'll be able to solve much more dynamic programming problems very easily okay so dp of um, let me call it 1 to n okay dp of 1 to n basically says is either true or false dp of 1 to n is true if it is possible to break down the string from s1 till sn into a bunch of valid words okay so it's either true or false and this is basically our answer you are trying to find out dp of in so if this is true then we are good how do i write a recurrence for this thing okay i am trying to find out this part now i defined dp of 1n as whether it is possible to break uh, the string s1 till sn into a bunch of valid words similarly in defines from si till sn now if you see that i am always thinking about some part of the suffix right so i'll start at some ith position and i'll definitely go up till n so you don't need to keep this variable here in this dp state and now dp of i basically represents dp of i represents uh, whether it is possible to break uh, the string starting from si till sn into a bunch of words into a bunch of valid words into valid words 
cool now what i'll do is I can either start from the right or the left, but let's start from the right. I'll pick one word. Okay. Let's say S1, S2, S3 forms a valid word. Since this is a valid word, I just need to know whether it is possible to break down the string starting from S4 till SN into a bunch of valid words. And if you can break down the string from S4 till SN into a bunch of valid words, then this is already a valid word. And since S4 till SN can also be broken down into a valid word, into a bunch of valid words. So DP of one is true. And you're basically trying to find out DP of one whether it is possible to break down this entire string that means s1 till sn into a bunch of valid words so if this is a valid word and let's say dp of 4 is true then dp of 1 becomes true okay the other way could have been that s1 s2 s3 was a valid word but dp of 4 was false so that's not good you might try to take out some other word from the prefix maybe s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 let's say this is a valid word right this exists in the dictionary you'll think whether dp of 6 is a valid word or not and then if this is a valid word uh, basically if a 6 to listen can be broken down into a bunch of valid words and this is a valid word then dp of 1 is true so you have a recurrence you are trying to find out dp of 1 and dp of 1 is basically pick one word from the prefix prefix valid word pick, a, pick any prefix that is a valid word and imagine that this uh, these are the first i characters okay the first i characters might form, form a valid word if they do okay then think about whether you can break down the string from si plus one till sn and that's it you will just try out every prefix whether it's a valid word or not and if it is then you'll think about dpi plus one or the remaining string and if you would uh, implement it bottom up as i have implemented in the solution you would be like this you'll think about dp of n this is true if and only if the single character sn exists in the dictionary or not otherwise this is false okay whether the single character exists in the dictionary or not defines whether dp of n is true or not because dp of n says that whether it is possible to break down the string starting from sn till sn that is the only single character into a bunch of valid words and it is possible if and only if this single character exists in the dictionary okay you'll find out dp of n first then you'll find out dp of n minus 1. dp of n minus 1 is talking about this string. You will say, okay, does, uh, uh, does sn minus 1 exist in the dictionary? If it does, then if dp of n is true, then dp of n minus 1 is also true. If it does not, then you can probably go ahead and try whether sn minus 1 and sn exist in the dictionary. If they do, then dp of n minus 1 is true. Okay. Similarly, you will just go towards the right and once you found out dp of 1, that is your answer. Hopefully, guys, this much explanation uh, was good enough and if still you think that it would have been better, you can still let me know in the comments. So, bye.